So today everything is about uh, environment, environmentals, rooms, spaces, places and stuff like that. Yeah, the first f uh, two things we need to know is uh, what kind of environment we are trying to get, to achieve, to model, to make. Do we have something we are just pass passing through? Uh, do we have a dead end, maybe a dead end with an epic sword? Do we have an area, an open area, a small area? Do we have a lair? An, an labyrinth, um, an, a dungeon or something. And the second thing is the style, the tone, the mood. Is it creepy? Is it happy? Does it give the, the player uh, a, a kind of relief? Does the, the, the place feel a little bit suspicious? Maybe there is a boss around the corner. Uh, maybe you know from, from uh, Dark Souls, uh, if you're... <laughs> going into an area and you're like oh okay yeah yeah i know here here's some big guys around in this area and yeah uh you you also can play with that kind of perception uh of the the player if he thinks oh this area looks like an an, an boss battle area but there is no boss battle or something and or a player think there there will will be loot at the dead end and there is no loot there is some kind of enemy or uh, a boss battle <laughs> yeah it's it's a very interesting element to play around with um so basic elements of an environment are the floor the ceiling the walls I think it's the, the most basic elements. Then you have little environmentals like uh, some pillars or maybe a, a couch or, or something. And uh, it's more like uh, props to fill the room and props to fill the wall, uh, the floor or the ceiling with an epic Ikea lamp or something. And uh, the last big point about environment is the background i think the background you can do it you can do the background at first or at last however you like the final 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 thing is the lighting because the lighting sets the mood for the environment so be careful what kind of color and how much light you give the scene or the environment so for this video I took a little walk in the city and uh, took some pictures of environments and environmental stuff and elements. And I thought it would be nice to take those pictures straight from the camera and straight into Blender. Yeah, this is a low poly, uh, low resolution tutorial, so we need to scale the resolution down. For that, I uploaded the pictures from the camera. They uh, had a resolution of a um, thousand times a thousand, and I scaled them down to 256, and a few of them lower than that, but later to that. So in Windows, just right click, edit, I have it in German, sorry. Uh, edit, size, change, pixel, and fill in 256. Click OK, save, and done. Um, if you if you have big pictures for big environmental stuff, go with 256. If you have small things with small resolution, you can go half that with 128 to get an uh, equal amount of pixelation on small and bigger things. So I have here this thing, it's smaller and the wall who is bigger. So I need more resolution and here less resolution. Um, it makes more sense in the scene. So at first we are dropping our reference images into the scene and set up our mirrored cube to get a good base for modeling. Duplicate this mirrored cube because we will 
reuse it for the other pictures, for the other environmental stuff. Now just add a few edge loops and stuff and then take the vertices, edges and faces and try to narrow down the overall silhouette of the object. In uh, environmental, uh, everything is about the silhouette of the elements and they start to shine after you added the lights. Do exactly the same thing with all the other elements and repeat the process. Keep in mind the silhouette is important. So the check the side view and the front view and most important the front view of the reference. And now let's continue our journey to the texturing. So let's switch to the UV editor and select all the faces and try to adjust them on the reference image or texture. If you find some weird faces or empty textured faces, try to find a place on the reference image uh, to fill those empty spaces out. For sure you can reuse textures also but um, try to keep in mind you have maybe some horizontal lines and try to line them up. So switch to the side view or something and check the corners. Repeat that process with all our models and then we are done with our little asset collection for the environment. Safety first, duplicate the collection of our little assets and then we can go to our compositing. And now we can rearrange the elements, resize the elements. And if you do something crazy with the elements like resizing or something, um, maybe duplicate them and hide them in the viewport because you will reuse them or need them again. Um, I was thinking here about maybe doing a passage or maybe something where you can get access to an epic loot or item in a game and I was aiming for this ritual wipe sinister magical and kind of diabolic very HP Lovecraft. The key here is really to play around get creative rearrange resize and maybe rotate some things and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate and reuse your assets because we put a lot of work into them. Um, it took me maybe I think half an hour or so to do all of them and now we want to ex do a little experiment and try what we can get out of our assets. Uh, that's a good thing, uh, the good thing about assets. You can reuse them, get them into a new context and uh, rearrange them every time. The final step is to add lights to set a mood and uh, get our final result with the environment. And keep, uh, keep in mind that the choice of color, the brightness and the overall amount of lights is a very big factor for the overall scene and environment. So keep it in mind and play around. But overall you can do nothing wrong. Um, it's very forgiving and also with the pixel textures and the whole low poly modeling, it's a very forgiving medium. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. So I'm done talking. Here is what I made.